When it comes to game recommendations, the classics are hard to beat, but in the past year or so, the gaming industry has really been cranking out some amazing new titles that are not only a lot of fun, but some of them can actually be good for building up a bankroll or even hitting a jackpot. And that's exactly what we're covering in today's video. We're gonna go over the top five newest slot machines that are some of the best games to play. Welcome back everybody to the Cowboy Slot Channel where I bring you experienced advice from years of working in the casinos, tips, reviews, and so much more. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell to stay notified for when the next episodes come out. As we go over the games on today's list, I'm going to be giving both the pros and the cons of the game as well as what type of a player that these games would be good for. Be sure to also leave your comments and thoughts down below if you've had experiences with these games on today's list or what are some of your new favorite games that are hitting the market and why. Now these games on today's list are in no particular order. They all get a gold star in their own unique way, shape, and form, but let's start it off with number five and this one actually surprised me a lot. Number five is Mo Mummy. This is the first time that an aristocrat game has ever made it onto one of our good lists. I'm usually not a fan of aristocrat games but when this one came out I was immediately skeptical but after playing it and spending some time with it I've really found a lot about the game that is actually very enjoyable and found that the game itself can be quite rewarding. So let's start out with the pros of Mo Mummy. Visually the game is a ton of fun. Even the little mummy dude is very adorable. I do enjoy the little aspects and the little visuals of this game like when the mummy comes out and he pets the statues or he'll sometimes play in the coins in the background and there's even sometimes where if it's getting close to hitting a bonus the mummy comes out and he kind of gets excited but then if you don't get the bonus he gets really sad and he walks away. I think that's adorable. I really like that feature. I like that visual. It kind of really adds something new to the game. The mummy character while it is very subtle it makes the game a lot more enjoyable. It's almost like entertainment inside of entertainment. The math of the game, however, is really what surprised me the most. While the line hits are very few and far between, they're actually pretty decent, especially for a newer style high volatile game. The bonus round of Cash Collect was an ingenious feature, and this bonus is so much fun. Not only is it a lot of fun, but it's also the perfect balance between getting good bonuses and bad bonuses. I'll explain kind of what I mean. Typically, on a lot of these newer style games, you can just get a string of bad bonuses, or you get a bonus and it's just bad after bad after bad, but Mo Mummy actually has consistently given out better bonuses than compared to most other higher volatile games of its same class. On the game of Mo Mummy, it just seems like the bonuses are a lot more fair and a lot more consistent. Of course, I have gotten some bad bonus rounds on the game, but they're really not as bad as compared to some other games. The bonus game is a lot of fun, the base game is a lot of fun, and generally overall, Mo Mummy is just very consistent. It's like a perfect harmonious balance of risk versus reward. Now let's go over the cons. Always do remember that this game, while it is a fantastic game to play and it is very fun, it is still a higher in volatility game, meaning that you can go a long time without getting a bonus round. So even though as fun as the game is, you still want to be mindful of that and not chase it and really watch your budget. The cash collect bonus, while it is very cool, the other two bonus rounds, the jackpot pick feature and the free spins feature, those are relatively standard pretty standard across the board like you would find in any other game. Other than those, it's really not a bankroll building game. So aside from that, that's really all the cons that there is to Mo Mummy. The type of player that I would recommend this for, and this is really gonna kind of be a first, is really anybody. This game is available in both a lower denom and higher bet options. As long as you are watching your budget and you're going in with reasonable expectations, this can be a great game to play, whether you're a lower limit player or a higher limit player. Up next on our list, number four is Frankenstein. Similar to Mo Mummy, Light and Wonder really knocked this one out of the park. I rarely find new games that I really enjoy, but Frankenstein is one that I seem to be coming back to on almost all of my casino visits. So let's start with the pros of Frankenstein. Visually, Light and Wonder did a fantastic job with this game. I enjoy the subtle background music. That's always kind of something that I've enjoyed. It's very subtle and makes the game a lot more enjoyable. Also, I really like the nostalgic feel that they have to this game. It really kind of goes back to the old school Frankenstein, and I really like that. The It's Alive feature does seem to come around pretty frequently on this game. Even if you do happen to get one head and a small amount, it's a nice little kicker that builds some excitement as you're playing. Plus, of course, you have that anticipation factor of never knowing 
knowing how many heads you're going to get with that feature and what those heads are going to turn into. If you were to look at the average pays of the It's Alive feature, it's actually pretty reasonable in relation to your budget, so this game really does offer a lot. The pay amounts are actually pretty fair, and they're decent. One thing that really did surprise me the most about this game is the frequency of the free games feature. In almost every single session that I have played Frankenstein on various different machines at various different properties at all different kinds of bet amounts, I've always seemed to get at least the free games feature once. The bonus does not feel like it's impossible to get like a lot of other games out there. And those bonuses can be very rewarding. So let's talk about some of the cons, the negatives of Frankenstein. You are definitely playing this one for the bonus. The line hits are really terrible on this game, unfortunately. But what I gather from it is in the lab when they were creating this game, having that it's a live feature more frequently and those bonus games more frequently kind of mitigates this so it doesn't feel as bad when you are not getting very good line hits in the game. But still, as an average player, if you are looking for line hits, they're simply not there with Frankenstein. Most people have commented too while playing this game that they really find that the voice of Dr. Frankenstein when he says, it's All right, alive. make it a good one. It's alive. Kind of annoying now me personally it doesn't bother me but a lot of people have seemed to say this about this game so i'm tossing that one in there as well the kind of player i would recommend this for is definitely more of the entertainment player it can be super fun at even a low budget and the money seems to last a lot longer and even if you do have a bigger budget you of course have those progressives that you can go for and it is available in higher bets as well i have seen many players toss in 20 bucks into this game and play it on the lowest level on one cent and they still get a very enjoyable experience out of it Over Overall, Frankenstein is very fun, it's very unique, and it can be very rewarding. Next up on our list today, we have Top Dollar Grand. Top Dollar has always been a go-to staple game of the casino, especially in the realm of the high limit player. When it comes to recreating a classic game or adding new features onto a game that is very classic with a devote following, you have to be very careful and you have to do it in a very particular way as to not upset the already very large fan base of the game. And Top Dollar Grand checked all of the boxes and IGT did a fantastic job when they came out with the game of Top Dollar Grand. They kept the base game as very familiar, but now added that excitement factor of those jackpots that you can get. In the game of Top Dollar Grand, the thousand credit offer has been replaced by a jackpot symbol. So if you get that jackpot symbol to light up, then you have the chance to get one or more of those progressive jackpots. And that leads into one feature that I really do love about Top Dollar Grand is that you can get more than one progressive. That jackpot feature can actually light up more than one, which is really something cool and really kind of unique. The base game for Top Dollar Grand is relatively untouched from the original Top Dollar, so players can expect the same play experience that you would get from the traditional game of Top Dollar. The cons to this game, and really I can only think of one, is that the progressive amounts are kind of low in comparison to some of the other progressive games out there. Yes, you will trigger that jackpot light a lot more frequently, which is nice, but when you actually look at the credit offers, and this can vary from casino casino to casino, but what I've noticed, especially walking around Vegas and looking at a lot of the top dollar grand machines that are out there, the highest progressive award jackpot is actually less than the original thousand credit offer. I mean, I guess it's something good that you can light it up more frequently, but still the chase for the progressive is really just not there with this game. So just be mindful of that and really look at all the progressives before you sit down to play it. Overall, top dollar grand is a great game to play. You're going to get that familiar base game. You can still build up a bankroll on this game, plus now that you have those added extra sweeteners of those jackpots that you can light up more than one time. Up next, we have Quick Hits Explosion. Over the past few years, we have seen a ton of explosion versions of games coming out with massive progressives. We can look at Dancing Drums Explosion as one example. But this one really kind of adds a new and exciting twist on an already very classic game of Quick Hits. Now, of course, this is a higher volatile game, but what we're seeing, and we're kind of seeing this trend with a lot of these newer games coming out, is developing Developers are trying to find a way to mitigate this so it doesn't feel as high in volatility and Quick Hits Explosion has some features that really help give players a smoother ride. It has the luck has arrived mystery feature that goes on and also it has another feature where occasionally the board will shake and the reels will expand giving the player more space to hit more quick hits or more line hits. And these features are actually pretty frequent in comparison to some other games out there that have mystery features. Also with this game you don't just get paid for the quick hits. A lot of the quick hit symbols have added extra credit amounts on top of the symbols so you 
get those paid as well in addition to how many quick hits you get. What I do love about a lot of these new features that Quick Hit Explosion has is the fact that it really does help mitigate that volatility. It doesn't make the game feel as rough. You're getting little kickbacks every now and again that are actually pretty decent. So the game feels really exciting, but it also feels fair at the same time. The game also does have two different types of bonus rounds where you can get the three gems for free spins or you get the three gems and the last gem has a circle around it to get a new jackpot style feature. In the jackpot feature, players accumulate quick hit symbols to move up the chain of different progressive jackpots that are available. But what's also cool about this game is while you're in that feature, any added credit amounts that pop up on the screen over those quick hit symbols will actually add to that next progressive. All of these new features are really exciting and really add a lot of benefit, especially to all of those quick hit players out there that have just absolutely loved the game of quick hits as it's evolved over the years. Now let's talk really quickly about some of the cons. Like all the other games we mentioned, this game is of course higher in volatility and thus the line hits are not very good on it. This is definitely one to watch your budget on, but I wouldn't necessarily count it out. Maybe give it a shot next time you're at the casino. And again, with all of the new features that Quick Hits Explosion has added into the game, it really does help to mitigate and make it feel a lot more smooth. So even though you are getting pretty poor line hits, all of those features and the frequency of those features being relatively reasonable does make the game feel pretty consistent. The type of player that I would recommend Quick Hit Explosion for is definitely somebody that has a little bit higher of a budget, or maybe you're at the casino, you've done really well, and you want to try your luck at it, get something a little more risky, uh, but also the chance for a bigger reward. The last machine on today's list has very quickly become a favorite of mine, and I was skeptical of it at first, but it has proved to add a lot of value, not just to entertainment, but also value in the wallet. Wallet. Up next on our list is Mystery of the Lamp. Mystery of the Lamp, I really feel like the designers of this game really took a lot of care and effort into really researching all of those other uh, hold and spin style games and all the bonus games that are out there on the market today. Find out what players like about it, what players don't like about it, and they created the perfect harmonious balance and that is what Mystery of the Lamp is. So let's start with the bonus rounds. The three lamps will yield different types of bonus games, but unlike a lot of other bonus games out there, you really don't get the feeling like one is better or worse than the other one. Typically on games that have multiple bonuses, players will say things like, oh, I got the bad bonus or, oh wow, I got the really good bonus, but on Mystery of the Lamp, all of the bonuses are actually really good. It also does seem a lot easier on Mystery of the Lamp to pop all three of the lamps at the same time, especially when compared to other games out there that are also uh, triple pop style games. Mystery of the Lamp, it seems to happen a lot more frequently. Overall, the bonus round on Mystery of the Lamp just feels a lot more obtainable and it feels a lot more fair. Once you are inside one of the bonus rounds, it is very exciting and very fun. I feel it's a lot more exciting than all those other whole and spin style games that are out there on the market. They also did add a feature that I really do love and appreciate, and that is when the bonus round completes, it adds all of the orbs into the credit window at the same time. It doesn't do this slow count up thing where it goes one after the other after the other. No, all the orbs just shoot go right down to the credit window. And I really do like that and I appreciate that. I know this was a big frustration of players out there, especially that like the hold and spin style games of it taking way too long to add up all of those credit amounts. So Mystery of the Lamp really kind of mitigated that and added this feature where it's just, oh, all goes into the credit window at the same time. The bonus round on Mystery of the Lamp also seems to be a lot more fair in relation to the bet amount. Again, we are comparing it to other games that are similar and have similar features, and this game just really knocks it out of the park in terms of fairness and value for the money. Mystery of the Lamp is not only a lot of fun, but it does have a lot of really great potential. If you haven't tried it yet, I definitely wouldn't pass it up. So let's talk about the negatives, the cons of Mystery of the Lamp. As with most of the games on today's list, you're not playing for the line hits, you are definitely playing this one for the bonus round. According to the game rules, Mystery of the Lamp is one of those games where you do have increased chances at things like the grand, the higher that you bet. So before you play the game, really step back and evaluate your budget to try to find the sweet spot of what bet amount is going to be right for you to yield you the best, but also still be reasonable within your budget. The grand is still possible at lower bets, but it is a lot more difficult to obtain. So overall, if you do want to get the best yield out of Mystery of the Lamp, you do need to have a higher budget to play the game. 
If you are an entertainment player working with a lower budget, Mystery of the Lamp can still be a really fun game to play. Just always be sure to keep your expectations reasonable, especially because it is one of those games where you do have increased chances the higher you bet, so do not push your budget. If you're a low limit player, enjoy it for the entertainment value. 2024 has already been a phenomenal year for slots, and the competition is really heating up with game makers trying to come out with the next best thing for slot machines. We're seeing some awesome new features come out in slot machines, but surprise Surprisingly, we're also seeing a trend where manufacturers are trying to mitigate the feeling of these higher volatile games and make them a lot more fair and come out with features to help you keep you playing even though the game is a little bit higher of risk. There's a lot of features that help to mitigate that. Let me know down in the comments if you've had experiences with the games on today's list or what are some of your new favorite games that are coming out onto the market. Be sure to like this video, a subscribe would be nice, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Check out these other videos and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more slot tips. It's always free. Visit ropethejackpot.com for free guides and a whole lot more. Catch you on the next episode.